Daniel. And I'm Alan. And we are here to talk to you about identity synchronization. <laughs> so, yes, so, yes so, we are. So far we've talked to you about a ton of different identity topics. So, was it authentication, authorization, self-service, federation? What is identity? Multi-factor um, or comp advanced? Advanced authentication and multi-factor? So lots of great topics. And now we're talking to you about identity synchronization. So Alan, what is identity synchronization? So identity synchronization is in the real world, there are going to be multiple places where identity information need to be copied. Yes. Right. So we're going back to our bank, right? We've just created our bank. The user has created an account, and we've got a directory here of all of these bank accounts, or the, the bank customers that have been created in here. All the bank customers. All of our bank customers are here in this data store. That's good. However, the bank has a bunch of applications. I'm going to call them legacy applications. Okay. They've got a bunch of these old applications that have been around for a long time. This one handles credit. And it has its own database of users that it needs to manipulate. Mm -hmm. And this one handles home mortgages. And it has its own database of users that it needs to deal with. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what the third one does. I don't know, checking accounts or something. Mm -hmm. But it also has a database inside of this. So if we were to go with this point that you're making, is within the complex enterprise, not all identity data is stored within the identity store that's just attached Absolutely. to the identity Absolutely. A lot system. of these apps have no idea that we want to centralize everything. They've still got things internally. So I'm starting to see a theme here. When we talk about synchronization, it's about how you coordinate identity across all these different data stores. Exactly. Okay, well, that sounds so, hard. So it is. So synchronization is the challenges that we've got to be able to take the information from our customers mm -hmm. and put the right information in the right places. So we may be copying some up here into, that was our credit application. That's right. Yeah. Be However, we members. may also need to take certain information from the credit application, like for example, their credit score, in order to put information into the home mortgage application mm -hmm. and in fact to the checking application. So we'll go and put some things out there. So we're orchestrating the synchronization of identity. Absolutely, across, across all of these different stores. Okay. And not only are we orchestrating the synchronization of that identity, but as the credit application changes your credit score, let's say it's now down to I don't know, 425, mm -hmm. yep, you had a bad month, that's what I'm saying. When your credit score goes down, we want that to be propagated to all of the other places that care about it, Yeah. right? And so part of this synchronization is watching all of the places that we have identity information and making sure that they're all in sync. So, so if we break these into some basic concepts, provisioning is the act of when you create a user? It provisions yep. it into your identity system. The synchronization piece is synchronizing it across all the different databases and identity stores tied into your enterprise. Mm -hmm. What happens if uh, if the customer leaves? What do you do? You, do you deprovision? Absolutely, okay. you, you may. Yeah, in, some some cases, cases, a little bit. in some cases, <laughs> you may not, right? And that could be a problem. So that's actually a very big problem for many customers. Is that when users disappear? they don't disappear from the running systems. Yep. And, and you have these orphaned accounts and these, these old accounts which are not being used but are still there. So that, that could be really bad if someone still has access to App 2, yet they've re left the country. They've the, gone, the, the and it's a security problem <coughs> because you now have credentials that can get into this application that no one's really paying attention to. Yep. Right. So yes, deprovisioning or even just managing the entire life cycle of this identity, right? Keeping, making sure that all of the data is correct, that the user is consistent over time, mm -hmm. and that at the end of time, the user disappears. Yeah. Right? So, question for you. We talked before about auth modules, and yes. calling off to third-party systems for doing authentication. It sounds like there's something here around like connecting to all these different data stores to, to synchronize data. Is, is there a concept there? That Absolutely. What, what is that concept? It's, it's actually exactly the same concept that we use with auth modules. Okay. So inside, if you can think about this sort of at, at I don't know, I'm just going to draw a big green circle. <laughs> just, it's, just a draw. It's a green circle. Yeah. This box 
we need to have something in there to translate how we know how to work with things with this external data store. Right? And it turns out that that's a fairly common thing with lots of different kinds of data stores. And we have a framework, which yeah. is called OpenICF, which is the Identity Connector Framework, ah. which enables you to build any kinds of connectors and customize the way that the ones we've so got, they you work. You can create mappings of you data. You can create mappings, mm -hmm. you, can create, you can create new connectors, yep. and you can configure how that connector works with the underlying data store, what data is necessary, yep. how it gets mapped. And I guess most importantly, maybe not most importantly, but importantly, it's pulling for right. changes. So it's, this is a bi-directional piece, if necessary. Mm -hmm. Some cases, like this one, we said it's only a you know, it's only updating it. There's no nothing of interest out in that database. Yeah. But this one, where it's changing the credit score, we're pulling that back into the identity okay. itself. Fascinating. Thank you, Alan. Identity synchronization, people. A concept you need to understand. Thank you. Did you know NSYNC was Daniel's favorite boy band? <laughs> <laughs>